The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today at the halftime break will be Paula Douglas. Don't miss the show on Thursday, folks. We have you-know-who. He calls it to the minute, Norman Winsky, and he will be our guest. It's a great number of responses to have Norman back, and we will have him back on Thursday to talk about the Full moon, I think, that's coming up, if I'm not mistaken. We'll take a quick look at these markets. I posted the chart of the German DAX. I uh, got hit quite hard, bouncing back a little as we did yesterday. But the, the FTSE has held up extremely well, I mean, given the other markets that are out there. Uh, my opinion has not changed. I think we've made some type of a major top up in here. We've had some great volatility. And that's just going to increase. What you've seen so far this year is going to be uh, replicated over and over again, folks, because we have a, a big window in here with a lot of people in ETFs and stuff. And I think when that door opens and, you know, they try to get out, it's going to be a little harder than they might think. But that's down the road. Right now we're seeing some things going on. I want to review what happened yesterday because I had probably more emails about that than anything I've had in a while. And I posted, you know, what I thought the AI was going to do, you know, for the day. I'll just I'm going to review where we were. Let me just put this up here uh, to show you uh, some of the things that we were talking about as we were on the air yesterday. As we begin to look at this chart here, this is where we were. And as remember, we started right at 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time yesterday. And you can see we were right near that level right here that we were watching. Uh, I just posted that. And all, all I did was I wanted to show you how markets repeat over and over again. That's And if you remember, that's exactly what we that's exactly what we tried to do. Now, the next chart is the same pattern that I looked at. Only what I did was I drew in the ABCD patterns that shows you the repetition. If you look closely at this, you'll see that the black line from December the uh, 18th down into the 20th, that three-day drop, okay, that was definitely equal to what we had yesterday, almost to the exact tick at 45.60. That's exactly what we were watching. Okay, now at the same time, if you remember, I was posting the AI forecast, which forecast that the market was going to rally the rest of the day. Everybody remembers that that's what happened. But let's just try to see what's happening today, and maybe we can learn a, you know, a little bit from it, okay? So here's what we were watching today. I want to get this up here so we'll be able to see this easily enough, I think. Here is the uh, chart that I posted about an hour and a half ago that uh, we were looking for the market, the bottom right around 1030 or 11 o'clock and uh, right around that uh, that 46 uh, I think it's 4638 or something like that if you'll give me one second I think I updated it but I'll have to find that these things are getting a little hard to read sometimes so it makes it uh, a tiny bit more uh, I think I did that one now that's about as close as I can get because I can't I can't change the chart now because of the fact that the, ah I got it. Shut the front door and raise her in. I knew it was here somewhere. Hold on. There's where we are. And there you can see we were down at the uh, 45, uh, 38 level. For, excuse me, 46.38 level. And that means we should start to rally. And it looks like it should rally the rest of the day. Now, what's different about this today is the fact that, uh, you know, we're at a much higher level than we were when we were way back at we're 100 handles higher we were at 45 uh, 56 yesterday now we're at 46 and change now the key is this is based on time now this is the concept that most people really don't understand it has nothing to do with the price scale on the right there it has all to do with the scale on the bottom which is the time scale uh, Dennis Regan the fella that did the artificial intelligence program uh, for us, uh, who, who was responsible for building the Tomahawk warhead missile. And, uh, 
he said that the markets, in his opinion, were time sensitive. And if you could figure out what the beat of the time sensitivity was, it would be grateful in, in, in day trading for shorter term trading. And so what we did is we bought a MIPS computer, which means millions of integers per second. And we started testing time sequences in the S&P, the British pound and uh, S&P British pound and crude oil because we had a lot of a lot of data on that so we we went back and tested and we found out yes by golly this does have some really good um uh, ideas for it but the problem is is sometimes it doesn't work now today if we're making lower lows in the next half hour or hour below that uh, 46 26 level that's not going to be a very good sign yesterday it, it lined it up absolutely perfectly you were right at the time you were right at the price everything lined up just as uh, as perfect as you could possibly get now we're not this was not a bad setup to, that we had today, but it wasn't perfect like the one we had yesterday. Now, you might think this is really complicated, but frankly, folks, it isn't. When I do the next day trading session, we'll do sometime in probably uh, late February, March, I'm going to show you folks how you can do a quick and dirty way of looking at this, and it's actually pretty good. I have several students that uh, that do this uh, and have done a you know a really superb job at just looking at these. Uh, the, what it basically is, it's the heartbeat of the market folks but the problem is the market doesn't have it has an irregular heartbeat it skips and beats and skips and beat has tachycardia bradycardia and then it comes back and gets back to normal whatever it does what you've got to try to do is to match the pain the the uh price with the time and that's what that's what we were doing yesterday it, it worked yesterday hey it might not work today all i'm saying is that which we're watching today we had a beautiful setup in gold uh, for a buy we had a beautiful setup in crude oil for a sell and uh, both of those returned really good for the first two hours that we did it and remember when you're when you're trading with a mip system in other words millions of integers per second you're not looking at weekly or daily charts folks you're looking at a, the time of day so that you can get your risk down to absolute Absolutely nothing and that's that's what you really try to do when you're doing this what I tell this story but people maybe you forget it but when I first got got involved with uh, Dennis Reagan uh, Steve Shapiro just gave me one of these little thermal faxes back in 1990 that he got from this guy in Bakersfield and and, and I overlaid it and it said the S&P was going to bottom at 830 in the morning and it was going to rally all day well at 830 in the morning it was making a perfect Gartley on a five-minute chart and I bought it and this is when we were trading for each point was five hundred dollars not fifty dollars so i had i had four of them on and the market rallied up uh you know well over twenty five hundred dollars and i was happier than a pig and you know what and so i called uh dennis i'd never talked to him before i said hey i got this thing from uh from steve shapiro and i, I want to tell you it was a really good thing and uh you know it was only like 12 o'clock and it was two hours to go for trading and i said great job and you know, he said to me you stupid mfso i mean he was words that i even i don't even use and i use everything <laughs> and i said hey i don't need this stuff and i just hung up on him he called me a stupid sob that was probably the only thing he said it might be right but uh, anyway that was it i told steve i said do not send me any more of these well he sent me another one and it worked and then i i said i don't know if i want to do anything with this guy or not so i talked to jimmy elder in birmingham he was my second student that i ever had and jimmy was a harvard grad and he said well we got to look at it well that's how it all got started hey we'll get back to business when we come back up, we want to talk about one of our favorite stocks, Nike. Nike. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, someone asked the question, why was uh, Dennis mad at me? Well, the reason why he was mad at me and called me so stupid, he says, don't you see that it's going to go up the other two hours of the day? In fact, it did. That was the most explosive part of the day. It went up another six points, so 10 points. You know, that was a $5,000 move back in those days. But uh, anyway, that was the reason. Later on, he calmed down, and uh, but it wasn't until he lost a lot of money trying to do it himself that he started to do it. But the idea is certainly good, but it's like I say it's like anything else part of the time it works part of the time it doesn't now let's talk about nike bo brought this to our attention here at the tfnn den here uh, way back in early december mid-december then you can see here uh, when it gapped up to the 61 percent retracement it was already in a bear market it was making a one three five pattern to the downside as you can see and then we rallied up there with incredibly bullish news if you remember it was the most bullish news that nike i think had almost ever reported i mean everything in china was rocking and rolling everything everywhere else was rocking and rolling just incredibly bullish news it gapped up stopped right at the 61 percent retracement and then look what's happened to it since folks this is a perfect example of a, a stock that gets really 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 good news with bad bad reaction boy that's really telling you something if a market doesn't go up on bad news buy the heck out of it and if it goes down on uh you know good news you know be careful because what you've got to realize is that these people play games with these things i mean you might find it hard to believe but it's not by the way we just rallied 30 handles from that low we were looking at in the s p down there at 38 we're now trading someone said oh i just saw the tv 43.72 so we've rallied 36 handles and and not only that, but we've taken out the 382 uh, in the NASDAQ that was sitting there. And I'll, I'll go over that uh, in just a minute. So remind ourselves, you know, when you see the news like that, be, be a little bit skeptical. The one thing they can do for you folks is they can't lie to you. Uh, you know, they can, excuse me, they can lie, but they can't hide. The, the reason for that is if prices go up, 
there's more buying. If prices go down, there's more selling. That's what you have to remember. It doesn't make any difference who's doing it or why. That's what's happening because you're not going to know who's doing it and why. But you can see it on the chart. Uh, another chart, if you remember, uh, we were talking about uh, Mr. Munger, Munger, the 98-year-old uh, uh, trader with uh, Warren Buffett. And if you remember the stock that he was really interested in, which was Alibaba, and here's a perfect example. We have a beautiful pattern down there. You can see the 127 expansion at uh, 109. Well, he came out at 118 and said, I really like, uh, you know, the uh, Alibaba. And, of course, everything he touches turns to gold, and that's what's happened. Just like in the movie with uh, uh, Gordon Gecko. You remember Michael Douglas and Bud Fox? And uh, Bud Fox, he had to call up, and he said, Blue Horseshoe likes uh, Indigo, Cop Indigo Steel or whatever it was. Well, Blue Horseshoes liked Alibaba, and the whole market, you know, gaps up. And now the stock is trading at 133. And not only that... It's trading up during an absolute, really, you know, almost a mini route in some of these stocks that we've seen. So that's the that's the main thing to uh, remind ourselves that that's what we're doing. We made some type of a very important bottom yesterday, boys and girls. We we brought that to your attention several times. The first with that S and P stopping exactly what it was doing. It, it mimicked exactly what it did before. So why not think it can't do it again? And all it's done so far is we've went up and we. We've actually touched these numbers, and now we're starting to go higher. To me, the ideal situation, because I'm overall long-term bearish, I would like to see a rally here for about three days just to show me what show me what it can do. We've got Monday, Tuesday. We've got Wednesday coming in here. Thursday, we've got Norm Winsky on. He'll have something interesting you know, to show us. So that's what I'll be looking at. When it gets to those numbers, then I have a place to say, okay, this is where I can you know, make a statement uh, to do that. And that's really uh, you know, what I I've been trying to do. If you remember, folks, uh, one of the what I thought was probably the easiest trade, uh, and Basil uh, touched on this a little earlier, is that uh, we were watching this. This comes directly from the newsletter, by the way. The the perfect symmetry that we had here at the 1.27 here in Treasury notes. We've only had uh, two up days in since uh, uh, in, in over a month in this darn thing. Actually, a month. And you notice we were 13 days down from the high. You can see the sequences that we've seen with 13 days down sitting right at the 127 the low was one tick lower than that uh, 127 it's rallied well over uh, a full point and is still holding up relatively well so if you're in that you know you have your stop at your break even point and it, you know it's so oversold you could get one heck of a rally now i know the fed chairman's out there today talking about uh, what they're going to do raising interest rates folks those interest rate stuff, they, they, they've been talking about the interest rates have been going higher for a long time. OK, and so what's going to ha happen is these Treasury bonds uh, have bound to get a short covering rally. And that's what we're seeing right now. It's just a short covering rally. How much it goes, I don't know. But longer term, you know, interest rates are going to go higher. I, those are my opinions of the things that I'm looking at. Here was a trade that we had yesterday. Someone asked me to comment on it because we had a really nice profit in it at one time. And, you know, part of these things is you got to know when it, but we shorted it right at the 382. And we were looking for the price to come down to 77. Well, we had almost a thousand dollars and we had $800 profit in it. But what we decided to do was to keep our stop at break even, but we would take profits at that 7725 level. Well, what happened was it started to rally and it started to rally and it went up and it's already uh, exceeded the 78% level of this. We're already trading uh, at above 80, which means we've really broken out the depth side. So that was a break-even trade. You know, it's uh, those are the, and all all we're doing with that is to try to, you know, keep the risk control just as absolutely tight as possible. You know, as we as we you know follow these things. Now, yesterday's bottom. I wanted to bring this to your attention here because this was the Nasdaq, and this is why we were on the air. I told you yesterday. You know, this level of fifteen thousand one hundred. You know, that that was uh, two standard deviations, folks, and below three standard deviations, that's where the real problems lie, and it didn't go any below that. I mean, there was the absolute little right, you can see, 11 o'clock yesterday, that's when I posted it, and uh, there it is, 15,155, and I said, there's two standard deviations. I said, it's got to stop right here. 
And if you went and looked at the chart of NASDAQ, and guess what we're going to do now, boys and girls? We're going to look at the chart of NASDAQ because we did the same thing yesterday. Whether anybody paid any attention to it or not, I'm not sure, but here it is. There's where we were. You're going to see it's the same price as we got it up here. The reason why I'm doing this is because repetition is the mother of knowledge and the heartbeat of invention. So there we were right at the 61% retracement, sitting there two standard deviations. And boy, if we fail there, baby, it's all lights are out. But the lights are okay. Now, look, you can also see the large ABCD pattern that was there from November the 22nd, the day after, the day before Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving. You come down, you make a low on your, your uh, B point uh, on uh, the 18th of no December, rally up to point C the day uh, on the 27th, and then down yesterday, making that an ABCD 618, 1.27, uh, two standard deviations, every, everything that said. Let's rumble. We'll be right back with Paula T. Douglas. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Paula Douglas on the line. Paula, how are you doing? 
I hope we have Paul on the line. They told me they did, but who knows? Well, I don't seem to have him. I'll check with the TFNN here, and uh, maybe they'll give me broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Well, doesn't look like Paul is with us, so let's keep moving on. here. One of the questions that I had for her today is, uh, well, they must be having, listen, if she's not responding, it's because there's something wait, more. Wait, 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 hello? Hello, Hello? broadsword to okay. Danny Boy. Broadsword, the chicken is in the pot. The eagle is landed. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, my my uh, the plug was half out. I could hear well, you, but you couldn't hear me. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not a problem. There, before you get started with your presentation, Paula, we had a question from one of our listeners here at TFNN in the Den today. Is what's the first step that you use when you have a trader that loses consistently? Well. I have to ask them, number one, if they're following their rules. That makes good sense. If you're yep. losing if you're losing consistency, you have to go back and look at your actions. Are you following your rules consistently without fail, or are you using your rules sporadically? Okay. And so, you know, so they have to go back, and what I tell them to do is go back for at least the last six months, go back to your trading journal, which you all should be keeping, <laughs> and uh, go back and see it, on those days, see how many times you followed your rules. You know, figure out what your percentage is. Okay, uh, this week I followed my rules 50% of the time. Well, okay, then you need improvement on that week. The next week maybe you followed it 75% of the time and you had better trades. Well, what's that tell you? You need mm -hmm. to follow your rules. I remember. So, I mean, Mark that's where we start. That's where we start. Anyway, I remember Mark's one of his favorite things was to take baby steps. You can't you can't right. change this stuff overnight. And uh, I remember that you know one of the things that I always had the big problem was watching the monitor all the time. And Mark weaned me off of that. But the way he did it was you can't watch the monitor for five minutes, then you can't watch it for ten minutes. And as you get to a half hour, then you realize it doesn't make any difference whether you watch the monitor or not. And it proves to yourself that you know you really shouldn't watch the monitor because you don't have any control of what this trading is doing. You can't control your risk, but other than that, that's it. Tell us what you're looking at today, Paula. Okay, well, what, what I thought we'd talk about today is it's a brand new year, and we have an opportunity to start anew, which we all, all talk about, you know, New Year's resolutions and all that. And that's not exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, as Marcus Aurelius wrote, you have the power over your own mind. Not, however, on outside events. So considering we're living in an uncertain world right now with pandemics that don't seem to be going away, we truly don't know what's going to happen next in the markets, especially in the markets. So we teach that, you know, uh, every, mar every moment in the market is unique. But, you know, we didn't really have to grasp that concept until the last 18 months to two years with the lockdowns and all this kind of stuff going on. So now we really have to believe that you don't know what's going to happen. So how do you, how do we address that in the new year? You have to start keeping a personal journal as Mark did every single day of his life, every single day. I have boxes of his personal journals, which someday I'll, make public after I edit them, of course, <laughs> if there's any references to me <laughs> or, you know, in the bedroom or something. But anyway, um, I'm just kidding. But um, and the point is, is that he wrote down every morning before he traded what his goals were. What did he want to accomplish? He had his coffee. He had his routine, as I think I've mentioned previously. He had his favorite shirt on, you know, and he had his bagel and cream cheese. And only after that did he sit down, turn on the computer and start trading. So you have to have a routine that you're comfortable with, that works for you. And I'm not suggesting that you should follow Mark's routine or my routine, but you have to have a routine. But first and foremost, you have to have some sort of personal journal that you are keeping track of everything you're thinking before you put on any trade on any given day. 
And then at the end of the day, you're going to go back and you're going to say, okay, how much of my goals did I accomplish? And just start keeping track of that. Mm -hmm. This is how you're going to build consistency in your thought processes, which will translate over to consistency in pointing and clicking your mouse. Boy, you know, I think the people would really love to see some of those journals. I, I happen to see him because he wrote a lot of them here during the four years that we worked together while we was doing trading in the end zone. But you forgot the most important thing that he did every morning. The very first thing was to take Tigger for a walk at four in the morning. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes, I, I remember, that is. <laughs> I remember the first week you guys moved here, you lived about a half a mile away and Mark was being chased by javelinas, remember? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, boy. And yeah, you told him to stay away from them, and he's like, oh, no, they're okay. Yeah, yeah well, until, they, they the mama, until the mama javelina came after him. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> for folks you don't know, javelina is a wild pig here in the desert, and boy, they are everywhere. There's, oh, my gosh, there's thousands of them in this area. Okay, Paul, anything else you'd like to share with us? You are offering anything special uh, in the beginning of the year? Uh, well, you know, as always, it's an open invitation. Call for your free 30-minute chat. You can call up and ask your questions, and it'll give you a good taste of what I what I can do for you and how I can help you. Yeah. And, you know, just start keeping that personal journal so you can start building consistency in your trading. It really does work, guys. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I you know, Larry knows this. I know this. Mark yeah. knows this. I know a lot of you younger traders are like, oh, that's girl stuff. And no, it's not. This is professional trader stuff yep. and this is coming from some of the best traders on the trading floor that i knew way back when in chicago so yep, that's correct yeah you have to learn so, from your mistakes or you don't make any you're just not going to do it if you don't learn from your mistakes and you're just not going to learn at all because you're going to make mistakes all the time you've got to learn from them you know that's the, the whole key to this you know right I if you it's, don't it's if that you, important Right. If you don't have any historical yeah. data yeah. to go back to, then you're going to yeah. keep repeating the same mistakes. Yeah. Oh, you know, one other thing, PT, that because Mark, Mark knew that I, I had a hard time with the journals until I realized I didn't have to write seven or eight paragraphs. He said, write two or three sentences. He said, you exactly. know, put the, bullet, put the bullet points in. You know, I screwed up. I didn't put a stop. Hey, I didn't do my work. You know, B, right. I listened to somebody else. He said, put those in there. And after a while, you can say, well, I did this. I keep doing the same thing. And if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different uh, outcome, that's a definition of insanity is what uh, Einstein said so who right. knows yeah that's hey, listen, a good point we're that's gonna have you on again Thanks in a couple that of weeks okay and tell the folks tell the folks how they can reach you and we'll have you on in a few weeks and chat with you again but where's the best ways to reach you uh mark douglas.com you can follow my twitter uh it's underscore mark douglas underscore and uh, you can give me a call 442-268-5480 PT, thanks Happy for trading. joining us. You bet, dear. Okay, we'll see you in a few it. weeks. Paula okay, Douglas, good. we'll be right back with some more for TFNN and all the folks in the den. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I have a uh, – first of all, I posted a chart here of the E-mini that we were looking at earlier today. This is a – this is just to give you a, a rough idea of what I watched. Now, you see the the green line on the left, that was Europe. You can see around 4 in the morning it started to roll down. We went all the way from uh, 46.90 all the way down to 46.38. Uh, the low came in. You can see right there when we were starting the show at 11 o'clock. Here we are a little past 11.30, and now we're, what, 40 handles higher than that? So that pretty much uh, gives you an idea what that sequence was going. Now, the reason why this is important, you can see the sloping downtrending line from late uh, in the morning or early in the morning to around uh, you know 930, headed down towards the open. I mean, you can see the little higher highs. And what I do is I measure those higher highs to see if they're repeating over and over again. And that gives me an idea of what the usual swing is in the S&P. Now, if you'll notice here at 930 in the morning, we had a little one, then we had this big Big sharp move down, and then we stayed to, kept going lower into 10:30. Well, that sharp move down came in at 46.62. So if you want to have some fun, circle 46.62. I can't do that because I can't change the, the size of the chart, sir. But if you put circle 46.62 on your S&P and uh, see what happened uh, after that, because that's when it ex really exploded, and that's where the algorithmic traders come in, and that's what uh, what I think is very important. Now on a human interest story. I've said many times before that, you know, I, I don't watch football at all. I, I watch a few games, but I haven't bet on a football game in uh, just at least 75, be 45, at least 45 years, 70, yeah, be 46 years, 1975, when Laren was uh, six years old, I... Uh, uh, she asked me to stop betting, and I did. And so I really was getting ready for this college game because I listened to the chatter on the poker tables, and everybody was saying how Alabama was going to win, Alabama was going to win. And everybody at the poker table was saying that Alabama was going to win and the point spreads and all this stuff. And I said to Sarah, I said, Sarah, I said, I've never bet on a game in the, all these years. And she says, well, bet 100 bucks." She says, it's not going to change your style of living. So I called Laren, and I told her, dear, I want to bet 100 bucks and she said she laughed at me she says dad she says you're 81 years old you can do whatever the hell you want to do and i she says yeah i know you stopped it and i said yeah and so i bet i bet a hundred dollars on the game I, I bet on georgia just because everybody was betting betting the other way and and when i when i got back 
I, I didn't even stay to watch the game because it's too crowded and too noisy and I don't like football. So when I came back, I, I didn't even watch the game. I, I heard it on the radio that the score was 9-6 to six at halftime or something like that. And uh, Alabama was ahead. I didn't even watch it. And then at 11 o'clock when I got up for my to, to you know check the markets uh, for Europe, I saw that uh, Georgia had won the game and I didn't even watch it. And it did prove to me that I didn't enjoy it very much. So that was my last bet. So anyway, that's neither here or there. But back in the old days of uh, Drexel Burnham, oh my gosh, with the coin dealers and stuff. Oh dear, we uh, we we uh, we realized that we were we were taking bets from the other coin dealers, acting like bookies, and uh, we made money. Not a lot of money, but we made money. But that's how we did it. We just took the action on the other side and never did any uh, did, never did any action. I don't. I think I've told the story of why I why I stopped the betting. It was a game between Oklahoma and Nebraska, and I had the game one i had like 200 bucks on it and they did a a, tra- a a thing called a missouri flea flicker where the quarterback throws to the halfback the halfback throws it back to the quarterback quarterback throws it to the it's all kinds of with about six seconds to go and nebraska beats the uh beats Oklahoma and I lose the game and I was screaming and yelling and Laren said dad she says I think you're going to have a heart attack I said did your mother ask you to say this she said no dad she says I really think she says you say such bad words she says I've never heard such bad words before she says I think you're going to die she said I don't want you to die dad she says I love you that was it never betting in until last night and she told me she still loved me this morning so I'm done betting that's it on to the next one but that's how it all got started and that's how it ended. I didn't even watch the game, and uh, that's it. Hold, hold on, which is, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Gambler, the original one with James Caan. Oh, my God. If you ever want to see a, whoo, there's something about behavior, boy. You want to watch that. James Caan in the, uh, what you call it. It's, uh, it's very, very important. Yes, you're right, Tucker. I did end it on a positive note. And guess what? I am going to uh, donate the money to a worthy cause. And Worthy Cause is running at the 5th at Aqueduct tomorrow. He's number 5. So Worthy Cause will be on the docket for tomorrow. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge for you. All right, where's this market going to go, folks? We know that a major bottom's been put in yesterday by looking at the chart with all those beautiful patterns, repetition, everything you want to see. So how high is it going to go? That's what we have to look at. It could be a day and a half correction like we're seeing now. It could be two days. could be three days. But it all and there's also the possibility that it could make a new high. I don't believe that's a possibility because of the way that these uh, NASDAQ stocks and the FANGs are acting, folks. These are these are not good chart patterns that you're seeing. I mean, they really aren't. They're, something dra- dramatic has happened there. And if they can do it to the big daddy rabbit, they can do it to all the rabbits. So make sure you remind yourself that uh, – you, you've got to realize that these markets are not just one way. They've been pretty much one way since March the 5th of 2009. Oh, by the way, thank you very much for the responses we got from the Shane Smolian program about stelliums yesterday. That was really interesting. I don't know a lot about it, you know, but it was very interesting to me to watch it. And he's going to follow through and we'll be giving some more information out in the future. But I, I really thought it was spot on because I, I believe these markets are controlled by the planets, but to what extent, I have no clue. The only clue I know is that when I'm ready to buy, when I'm ready to sell, all I see is four little letters up there, folks. R-I-S-K, risk. And that's what I want to know. And that's all the thing I can control. I can't control anything else. So that's the whole thing to uh, remind ourselves of, uh, you know, where where we are. But that number we hit, you know, in the NASDAQ yesterday, I've shown you three different ways of looking at it that that's extremely important there. And uh, there's no reason, you know, there, this market's been in a bull market for a long time. This is a normal correction, just like we had in earlier December, repeating it exactly. Now, the other thing that you want to remember here, and you write this down, I'll put this up here so you'll be able to see it and remind ourselves that this is what we're looking at here. If we go below that 4550 now, after what's happened, that we've already taken out those highs, <laughs> you don't want to have anything to do with that puppy because then the real problem is going to happen. See, folks, you got a lot of people in these markets over the last 11 years, and especially over the last year, that have never traded before. They don't know what a bear market is. 
And uh, in fact, I know I've forgotten pretty much. But anyway, that's uh, that's what you want to remind ourselves. We've seen these other stocks like Hood, and all these others that have you know gotten hit really really badly, and uh, that can happen to all of them. But it hasn't happened as of yet. So. That's uh, what we're paying attention to here. Is uh, Russell is only trading at 2180? Gee, I thought it would be a lot higher than that. That means it's a uh, what's going to be <laughs> that joke. That was a joke about the worthy cause, folks. Worthy cause was just a joke. No, I'm going to give it to uh, the gospel mission here. All right, let's move on here to the Bitcoin because we've had a nice move. Uh, it hold up at that 40,000 level in Bitcoin. But uh, as we look at this chart here, here's one that is just extremely bearish. Unless we get above 53,000, then I have to say that this is wrong and we are not going to go down to 18,000 where I think we're headed to 20,000 to 18,000. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the NASDAQ as of last night. And you'll notice here that we had made the 61, excuse me, the 38% retracement from the high we made on December the 4th. We also came down uh, this morning. We went down to a 382 retracement down there at 15,500, 300. And now we have exploded uh, to the upside and we're heading towards that 50% level. This has told us that we are now looking at a pretty significant correction here to the upside. So that's what we're seeing today. And our job is to find out what is the next point that we want to be able to see if we'll be able to do that. Now, if you'll notice behind me, there is a picture of the nine spirits. 
These are the uh, it's an it's a, a Chiricahua Indian uh, sculpture. It was given to me by one of the students here as a gift when I moved here 29 years ago. Uh, it's it's actually very very beautiful. I guess it, I don't know it, it's supposed to be quite valuable, but the nine spirits are the basically the five good spirits and the you know the four bad spirits, and you have to mix them max to make to where you are in your life. It's a story about the Indian chief that talks to his grandson about what life. Life is about how you have to handle adversity and how you have to give back to the good people and be aware of bad people. All those things are in those nine spirits. I don't know what they are. I'm, I'm not. I'm not religiously tied to this. It's just a pretty. It's just a pretty sculpture. It's. Uh, it's quite beautiful. It's all hammered copper, and right out of the copper mines in Bisbee, Arizona, too. Do we have a, a question here? Uh, Oh, coming up on TFNN, we got TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. We're going to have Dave White. Uh, we also have Steve Rhodes coming in tomorrow. Remember, we have uh, always want to listen to Basil Chapman's show. And, of course, Tom O'Brien at the very end. And so we'll be able to uh, be able to uh, see if that's going to be uh, what's going on here. So that's what we're seeing today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And we'll see you on a higher opening tomorrow. <laughs> 